This video on puberty, reproductive organs, and conception was recorded for the BC Learning Network, www.bclearningnetwork.com. This presentation will answer the following questions. What is puberty? Why do people have different development rates? What are the reproductive organs and what are their functions? And how does conception take place? When we talk about these things, it's normal to feel all kinds of things. You might feel curious, disgusted, shy, embarrassed, excited, or perfectly comfortable. What is puberty? It is the time when our bodies change to become more like an adult body. It's the time when our bodies prepare to be able to make babies. When do changes happen? Anywhere between the ages of 8 and 17. Girls usually start between the ages of 8 and 13. Boys usually start between 10 and 14. When you start makes no difference to how you develop. No age is better than any other one. Puberty happens on its own schedule. Why do people develop at different rates and times? Because of hormones. Hormones are chemical messengers that travel in the bloodstream from the place where they are made, called glands, to the place where they do their work. Puberty hormones come from the pituitary gland in the brain and tell your body to prepare itself for being able to make babies. You can't decide when this will happen for you or how long puberty will take for you. Your hormones are in control of this. What changes happen to girls? Girls get taller and heavier. The bones grow bigger and heavier. Hips get wider and more curvy. The face changes shape. The voice gets a little deeper. Hair grows under the armpits and around the genitals. Hair on the arms and legs may grow darker. Breasts and nipples get larger. The body sweats more. Sex organs grow and develop. And you may have mood swings. What are the female reproductive organs? Parts on the inside are the uterus, a muscular organ about the size of a pear where a developing baby called a fetus grows and is fed. It's also where the period comes from. The vagina is the warm, soft, moist passageway joining the outside and the uterus. The fallopian tubes, which are narrow tubes between the uterus and the ovary. The ovaries are glands that make and eggs and release egg cells. The cervix is the lower part of the uterus. It makes mucus to keep sperm alive and has an opening through which the menstrual fluid or period can pass out of the uterus and sperm can enter. What are periods? Girls are born with hundreds of thousands of tiny eggs called ova. One egg is called an ovum. These egg cells are only half formed. At puberty, hormones tell the ovaries it is time to start releasing the eggs. Usually one egg at a time develops and is released from an ovary. At the same time, the uterus starts to grow a thick lining on the inside wall. The lining has lots of tiny blood vessels. If an egg does not meet a sperm, the lining of the uterus is not needed, so it breaks up. It comes out of the vagina and then out of the vaginal opening. This is called menstruation, but lots of females just call it their period. If a woman is not pregnant, then each month her ovary will release another egg. The uterus lining will build up and if the egg is not fertilized, it breaks up and the woman has another period. This is called a menstrual cycle. It happens about once every 23 to 35 days and lasts from 3 to 8 days. This is normal. What changes happen to boys? Boys grow taller and heavier. The bones grow bigger and heavier. The nose and jaw get bigger. And the face gets longer. Boys get more muscles. The hair and skin can become oily and they may get pimples. The body sweats more. Hair grows on the face, under the armpits, and around the genitals. They may get more hair on their arms, legs, and chest. The voice gets deeper. The penis and testicles grow. The scrotum changes and breasts may change. What are the male reproductive organs? These parts are called reproductive organs or genitals. The parts are the urethra, penis, testicles or testes, and scrotum. Each part has a specific function. The urethra is the tube through which urine or pee and semen, which is a mix of sperm and fluids, leave the boy's body. The penis is a tube-like organ that hangs outside the body, it comes in all sizes and shapes determined by our genes. The testicles are testes. Usually there are two and they're sometimes called balls and they are where sperm are made. The scrotum is a bag of skin that holds the testicles. It keeps them at the right temperature to make sperm slightly cooler than the body's temperature. In puberty, you know, hormones from the 
In puberty, hormones... In puberty, hormones from the pituitary gland in the brain make the testicles grow and they start making more testosterone and producing sperm. After puberty, you make 200,000 to 400,000 sperm cells a day for the rest of your life. Sperm build up in tubes around the testicles and mix with fluids from glands to make semen. Semen is what carries sperm to the female's egg so that the sperm can try to fertilize the egg and start the development of a baby. How does the semen come out? If the semen is going to come out, the penis is likely to be erect, which means harder and straighter. A penis gets erect when blood rushes into it and makes it that way. Muscles push the semen into the urethra and out the penis. This is called ejaculation. And this is normal. What can cause an erection? Boys can get erections for all kinds of reasons. They might happen when thinking about something pleasant, when waking in the morning, when anxious or frightened, for no reason at all. How are babies made? First, what do the words reproduction and conception mean and how are they different? Reproduction is the process that produces babies. Conception is the moment during reproduction when a female egg is fertilized so that the baby can start to grow. How does reproduction and conception happen? Now that you know about the parts of the female and male reproductive system, you will learn how they work together to make reproduction possible. Conception requires male and female cells. In other words, a male and female are required to produce a baby. First, on the male, the muscles of the penis fill with blood and become erect. The penis enters the vagina during sexual intercourse. If a sperm cell breaks through the outside egg membrane to fertilize the egg, the female becomes pregnant. When the egg is fertilized, this is called conception. This fertilized egg immediately divides into two cells. These cells then divide over and over again for the next couple of days and the cluster of cells makes its way to the uterus. Here it is planted in the lining of the uterus and continues dividing to make billions of new cells. Over nine months, these cells will grow into a new person, a baby. This presentation answered the following questions. What is puberty? Why do people have different development rates? What are the reproductive organs and what are their functions? And how does conception take place? Hopefully now you can answer them too.